Listening with My Heart by Gabby Garcia. Esperanza's tummy fluttered as she practiced her lines on the porch. Today was the class play. Waiting for mom to walk with her to school, she paced back and forth when she spotted a heart-shaped rock. Esperanza picked it up and showed it to Mama as soon as she walked out. I see you found a little treasure, said Mama. She rubbed its rough surface and felt a twinkle of joy. Maybe it's a sign. For what? asked Mama. Esperanza thought about the class play later that afternoon and wondered what it would be like in the spotlight. To put my heart into everything I do, she answered. At that moment, they heard scratching and a soft cry. Esperanza peeked under the stairs and spotted a kitty shaking and shivering. No Mama in sight. She scooped the kitten up onto her lap and cuddled her. She's all alone. I think she's hungry. Esperanza reached for her lunch bag and pinched off a piece of chicken. She offered it to the kitty who gobbled it up. Mama, I think the rock is a reminder to spread kindness and love. That's what we do when we listen to our hearts. I think you're onto something, said Mama. Can we keep Cleopatra? Please, asked Esperanza, who had already named the kitty. Queens are always welcome at our house, said Mama. If she's still here after school, we'll take her in. At school, Esperanza was more focused on the play than on math or reading. Clutching her script during recess, she noticed Bao sitting alone on a bench. He was new in school this week and didn't speak English. She wondered if he felt lonely or scared. Esperanza found a soccer ball and kicked it over to him. A smile spread across Bao's face. He stood, popped the ball in the air, then bounced it between his knee and his head a few times. Dude's got moves, thought Esperanza. They spent the rest of the recess giggling and making up hand signals. Afterwards, Esperanza borrowed Miss Owen's English-Vietnamese dictionary. She wrote friend in Vietnamese, drew a picture of Bao in her, then placed it on his desk. Esperanza rubbed the rock in her pocket, listening with her heart made her feel peaceful inside. Finally, it was time for the performance. It was too late for Bao to be in the play, but he stood at Miss Owen's side as a stagehand. Excitement bubbled as Esperanza awaited her cue. Esperanza walked on stage, tripped as she was about to say her first line, and splattered across the stage. When she got up, Esperanza forgot her lines, so Miss Owen whispered them to her from backstage. Heat rushed through Esperanza's body as all eyes were glued to her. She wished she could disappear. I ruined the play, Esperanza thought, rushing off stage as soon as she'd finished her part. I messed up in front of everyone. She tucked herself in behind some props so no one would see her. Esperanza noticed her body shaking and her face still burning. She took a deep breath and tears streamed down her face. Esperanza dug out the rock from her pocket. It was cracked and lopsided just how she felt. Esperanza touched her hand to her heart and felt the disappointment. A few minutes later, Bao walked over and handed Esperanza a drawing of her with the word friend written above it. Esperanza nodded. She realized she hadn't been treating herself like a friend. Esperanza realized this wasn't the first time she'd been unkind to herself. At the soccer game last weekend, she'd missed the ball that swooshed by her head, and they lost the game. Nice work! A player from the team yelled as others laughed. Esperanza thought she had let her team down and was the worst soccer player in the world, thinking those thoughts had made her feel worse. At the curtain call, Esperanza reminded herself that she hadn't ruined the play. She had an accident, and accidents happened to everyone. Listening with her heart wasn't just about spreading kindness and love to others. It was about giving it to herself, too. I can be a friend to myself, thought Esperanza. When Esperanza got home, she decided to do some of her favorite things. She zipped down the hill with her bike, then spent the afternoon painting at the kitchen table. She also got the hug she needed from Mama and some cuddles from Cleopatra.